Uh, and then there was something else, but I forgot. I can't remember. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, so I'm so sorry about what is happening. But I also, like, I, you know, there's this temptation to make this very state-specific. But you do, you guys do realize that what's happening in the South is is just completely interconnected and this is all about overturning Roe v. Wade and basically making abortion illegal, criminalized in America. And, it, and this could really happen. And this would be very bad for so many reasons. Um, you're gonna see my show tonight and you're gonna see me talking very openly about the abortions that I have had. I've had three. I'm gonna spoil the whole show for you. It doesn't lead up to, like there's no suspense arc in the fucking show. I'm also like, tweeting about it, so whatever. Um, but it, one of the things that makes talking about abortion so hard, and I've been watching people dealing with this this week on the internet, is that there's so many things to get in the way of discussing it, especially if you have a conservative family or you live in a conservative community. Yeah. And even if only a slice of your family or your community is going to be judgy, it's just so much easier to say nothing. Yeah. And I understand that because I've been there. And one of the reasons I'm out doing this tour right now is because I'm at the point in my life where I can afford to do this. Because no one is, you know, no one in my inner circle is giving me any shit. My family is fine with it. My awesome husband is fine with it. <laughs> and I am lucky. I am lucky that I can do a tour like this and that I can stand at a record store and be like, I've had three abortions. <laughs> you know, they were all different. I did them for all different reasons. I'm very happy to sit here and tell you the story and talk about why I actually carry no shame about this and how long it took me to get to the point where I actually carried no shame about the choices that I made, you know? And then I chose to have a child, and then I had a miscarriage, which I didn't choose. And so many women have been through so many of these experiences, and every single one of them, including abortion, including childbirth, and how you raise your children, and how you even give birth, and including miscarriage, is just stuck in a cave of shame. And it is stuff that you are not supposed to talk about. You know, and if your opinion differs from somebody else, it's just so much easier to just suck it up and deal. So I just want to remind you, if you need somebody, especially if you are a human being of the female persuasion out there, and you are struggling with stuff like this, come to me. Literally, if you can't go to anybody else, you can come to me. You can tweet at me, you can comment to me on Patreon, you can find me, I'm very easy to find. <laughs> if you have nobody else, or you know someone out there in the world who's dealing with this stuff and they're completely alone, I will take care of that person, or I will try my hardest. And there are a lot of... And there are a lot of women out there like me who are like ready to catch you all and catch those women who are like, it's fucked, my relationship is fucked, my family is fucked, you know, my friends are fucked. I do suggest you get new friends if you're friends <laughs> are fucked. Fuck that. Um, but, you know, that, that's what it's gonna come to right now. I mean, and if you're out there and you're, especially if you're an older woman who's been through this or been through this multiple times and you've gotten to the point where you really can give no fucks. Our, jo hey! Hey! Our, our job is to help. We fucking have to help. Especially the less we have to lose, the more we have to help. It's pretty good. <laughs>